Hello everyone, in this video we are going to cover the current affairs. For text version of this quiz, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Indian novel ships INS Kulish and INS Sumedha visited the port of which country for the first time? So this is Mangola port and it is in Bangladesh. So why Indian naval ships are visiting this port city? Because this year Bangladesh is completing 50 years of independence and these are visiting Bangladesh to commemorate the Swarnim Vijay Wars. Actually in 1971 there was Indo-Pakistan war and as a result of victory in that war Bangladesh became a separate country and to commemorate our victory over Pakistan, 16th of December is celebrated as Vijay Divas. So this INS Sumedha is indigenously built offshore patrol vessel and INS Kulish is indigenously built guided missile covet. Now recently Bangladesh was also in news because of Swadhinta Puruskar. It is the highest civilian award of Bangladesh. Bangladesh was also in news because of Maitri Setu. So this bridge connect India and Bangladesh and this is a bridge over Feni river. Okay. Now coming back to this Mangola port. So this Mangola port is the second busiest port of Bangladesh. Under which scheme bank loans between 10 lakh and 1 crore is provided to set up enterprise to the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe or women borrower. So as a part of stand up India scheme, bank loan facilities are provided to the vulnerable section of society. This Stand Up India scheme was launched in 2016. As a part of this, loan is provided to the vulnerable section and the loan amount is between 10 lakh to 1 crore. So per branch of bank intends to provide loan to at least one SC or ST borrower and one women borrower. Recently this initiative was in use because as per government data, over 81% of the account holders under the scheme are women. So that is why it was in use. Now this Stand Up India scheme is a part of DFS. What is DFS? It is Department of Financial Services. It is under FinMin, that is Finance Ministry. This Start Up India is another initiative to promote startups in our country and it is under Commerce Ministry. Even Start Up India was launched in 2016. Recently it completed five years and on that occasion, Prarambh Summit was organized by Commerce Ministry and apart from that, during that summit, it was announced that government is going to constitute a seed fund for startups. So recently, Commerce Ministry announced 945 crore rupees seed fund for startups. Seed fund means this money will be used to provide support to the startup companies. Which Indian wrestler has regained top position in the world ranking recently? So recently. Indian wrestler Bajrang Punia regained the top position in the world ranking. Recently, he won a gold medal at Matteo Palicon ranking series. And with this, he earned his quota for the Tokyo Olympics. Now recently, one more wrestler was in news and she is Vinesh Fogart. So why she was in news? Because she won the gold medal in 53 kg category. And with this, she became world number one in the international ranking. So in female category, C is on top position. In male category, Bajrang Punia is on top position. Now Vinesh Fogart is the only women wrestler from India to have qualified for Tokyo Olympic Games. How many scholars have been selected for India Science and Research Fellowship 2021? So 40 scholars were selected as a part of this initiative. And these 40 scholars belong to six countries. What is the objective? Objective is to provide them support for the research and fellowship. And this is a part of initiative of DST, that is Department of Science and Technology. DST is under Ministry of Science and Technology. The 7500 Janos Kendar has been inaugurated recently in which state? So it was inaugurated in Meghalaya. To be specific, it is in Shillong. And these Jan Osdhi Kendra are opened as a part of Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Osdhi Priyojana. What is the objective of this scheme? Objective is to provide quality medicine at affordable cost. It is a scheme by central government. Now this scheme is implemented through BPPI. 
what is bppi it is bureau of pharma psu of india recently this organization was also in news as it celebrated jan oshdhi divas and it was celebrated on 7th of march and the theme was seva bhi rozgar bhi that means it will serve the twin purpose the purpose of service and the purpose of employment generation now answer in comment box this bppi is under which union ministry overall business confidence index was released by which organization so this was released by fikki what is fikki it is federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry so it was formed in 1927 the founders were ghanshyam das birla and purushottam das thakur das it is a non governmental organization headquarters is in new delhi and presently uday shankar is the president of fikki next question is which country was the host of un congress on crime prevention so this event was hosted by japan and it was commenced in kyoto now in the context of kyoto there is a kyoto protocol it is related to environment so kyoto is in japan and it was the host of this united nations congress on crime prevention japan was the host of this event for the first time since 1970 now recently japan was also in news because of quad quad is quadrilateral security dialogue four countries are the part of quad these are usa india japan and australia so recently this quad was in news as the first virtual meeting of quad held recently i have already uploaded a video on this recently japan was also in news because of five eyes alliance as japan is planning to join this alliance answer in comment box which european country is a part of this five eyes alliance india's first transgender community desk has been inaugurated in the police station of which state so it was inaugurated at the gachiboli police station of telangana and it is india's first transgender community desk objective is to provide support to the transgender community so that they feel safe so this desk will serve as a common point for grievance redressal among transgender community these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important news events so first is fugaku it is a supercomputer and it is by japan it is the world's most powerful supercomputer recently it was in news because now this supercomputer is fully ready and now it is available for research use next is 14th five year plan so recently this was announced by china so this is a five year plan announced by china and the time period is from 2021 to 2025 as a part of this five year plan china is going to construct that means it has proposed that it is going to construct the first hydro power dam in tibet on the brahmaputra river now india has some serious reservations about this initiative of china because it will create problem of water for india apart from that as a part of this five year plan china also intends to achieve self sufficiency in the field of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence so these were two key highlights of this 14th five year plan of china now recently now in last event i forgot to mention one thing recently japan was also in news as it collaborated with australia and now a venture of australia and japan started producing hydrogen from brown coal next is lgbt freedom zone so recently european union announced this lgbt freedom zone what is this entire issue see there is a poland poland is a country in europe so in poland same sex relationships that is homosexual relationships are not legally recognized that means legally they are not allowed so there was a problem regarding this issue that means in poland a same sex couple cannot adopt a child but a single person can adopt a child as per the existing norms therefore the same sex couples were adopting child as single parents and that's why there was controversy about it now the european parliament has declared whole of european union as lgbtq freedom zone that means the people of lgbt community can live freely and they will enjoy the freedom to live and publicly show their sexual orientation next is niti aayog so niti aayog recently submitted the first list of 12 psu for privatization please note that for this year our privatization goal is 1.75 lakh crore now this list of niti aayog will be reviewed by deepam what is deepam it is department of public asset management it is under finance ministry apart from that it will be reviewed by 
CGD. What is CGD? It is core group of secretaries on divestment. So this core group of secretaries is headed by CS, that is cabinet secretary. Cabinet secretary is the topmost bureaucrat. Next is Mithali Raj. So she is a cricketer. Recently she was in news because she is the first Indian women cricketer to score 10,000 international runs. At international level, she is the second women cricketer to complete 10,000. So she is the first Indian and overall she is the second cricketer, second women cricketer to achieve this milestone. Answer in comment box, who is the first women cricketer to achieve this milestone at international level? Next is first meeting of BRICS contact group on economic and trade issues. What is BRICS? It is an association of five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So recently this was in news because of first meeting and this meeting held from 9th of March to 11th of March and this held under the chairship of India. Next is Bamiya Buddha. So it was a statue of Buddha and it was in Afghanistan. It was destroyed by Taliban. Taliban is a militant group in Afghanistan now with the help of 3D technology. It is being revived. That's why it is in use. Next is APEDA launched first virtual trade fair. So what is APEDA? It is Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. Agricultural and Processed Food Export Development Authority. So this is under Commerce Ministry. And recently it organized first virtual trade fair. Next is Accelerator Bengaluru. So this is an initiative of state government of Karnataka. Objective is to support women-owned micro business. Next is PCA. PCA stands for Prompt Corrective Action. So as the name suggests, the objective is to take preemptive steps to correct. So this is an initiative of RBI. Now suppose there is a bank B1 and it is not following the norms of RBI. Then RBI is going to increase its regulation over this bank to prevent bank failure. This thing is known as PCA. So in this there are different steps depending on the seriousness of situation RBI take action. So this is prompt corrective action and why it was in news recently because recently IDBI bank was removed from this prompt corrective action framework after four years. That means four years ago RBI increased its regulation over IDBI bank to prevent its failure. Now this bank is doing fine therefore Reserve Bank of India has removed this prompt corrective action framework from this IDBI bank. Next is Arjun Sahayak Irrigation Project. So this is a project of Uttar Pradesh government. As the name suggests, it is irrigation project and this is going to be over Dashan River. And this river is a tributary of Betwa River. Next is Patriotism or Desh Bhakti themed budget. So recently Delhi government was in use because of its Patriotism themed budget. What does that mean? It means a specific allocation has been announced for the patriotic events. As a part of this, Delhi government is going to celebrate the 75th Independence Day in a unique style. Apart from that, Delhi government was also in news as the budget of Delhi government aims to increase the per capita income of Delhi at par with Singapore by 2047. Next is Heron UAV. UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. So recently India was in news as Indian Army has leased four such UAV from Israel for a period of three years. And these UAV are manufactured by IAI, that is Israeli Aerospace Industries. So these will be deployed along the Indochina border. Next is World Kidney Day. So it was on 11th of March. Theme was living well with kidney disease. Actually, this kidney day is observed on the second Thursday of March. Apart from that, CISF Day was observed on 10th of March. CISF is Central Industrial Security Force. It is under MHA. It is a part of CAPF. Next is Dr. G.P. Samantha. So recently, Dr. G.P. Samantha has been appointed as the Chief Statistician of India. And Dr. G.P. Samantha will also serve as the Secretary of MOSPI. What is MOSPI? It is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Next is Wear and Pay. So recently, Access Bank launched these new products these are wearable devices and with the help of these devices you can do payment as well so these are contactless payment wearable device these are launched by access bank next is world economic forum list of young global leader so recently this list was in news as Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone was included in this list next is Anurag Thakur so current union minister recently 
became the first member of parliament to be appointed as a captain in the territorial army next is shaina so recently this was in news it is a torpedo and it is indigenously developed recently india conducted its successful trial it is tal what is tal it is advanced light torpedo and it has been developed by a laboratory of drdo next is chairman of un panel of external auditors so for 2020 the chairperson was gc murmu gc murmu is our current cag now for 2021 as well he has been reappointed as the chairperson of un panels of external auditors what is cag it is comptroller and auditor general of india next is digital payment scorecard so recently this was released by me ITY that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology as per this SBI is on top position last news is related to dandi march so on 12th of march prime minister flagged off the 91st anniversary of dandi march in ahmedabad so this event is being used to celebrate the 75th anniversary of india's independence this dandi march was led by gandhi ji in 1930 and this event was started from the sabarmati ashram of gandhi so these were the most important news events now get ready for the test Thank you and that's all for the day.